fractional currency, refers to currency that is issued in denominations that are less than the standard unit of currency, like cents, making it easier to handle small amounts of money, and also refers to the historical practice of issuing currency in fractional denominations. Fractional currency can facilitate lending by making it easier to handle small amounts of money. Fractional currency allows for more efficient circulation of money within an economy, making it easier for individuals and businesses to access small loans. Additionally, lending platforms such as decentralized finance, DeFi platforms, can use fractional stablecoins to enable users to lend and borrow fractions of real-world assets, like stocks, commodities, and currencies. This can make it more accessible and cost-efficient for individuals to gain exposure to these assets and also can provide a new source of liquidity for these assets. In summary, fractional currency can facilitate lending by making it easier to handle small amounts of money, allowing for more efficient circulation of money within an economy and making it easier for individuals and businesses to access small loans. Additionally, Fractional stablecoins can be used to enable lending and borrowing of fractions of real-world assets in the DeFi platforms. In this video, we will investigate an ecosystem designed for stablecoins, which are assets that combine the stability of traditional currencies with the decentralization of cryptos. FraxShare The goal of Frax in particular is to create highly scalable, decentralized, algorithmic money in place of fixed supply digital assets like BTC. I'm Jennifer from KK Technologies let's discover. This open source, permissionless, and entirely on-chain, currently implemented on Ethereum and 12 other chains. FraxShare FXS, is a cryptocurrency token and operates on the Ethereum platform. It is a decentralized finance DeFi, token that is used to access the lending, borrowing, and trading of synthetic assets on the Frax platform. The token is also used to govern the platform and to vote on proposals for its development. The Frax platform allows users to create, trade, and borrow synthetic assets that are pegged to real-world assets such as stocks, commodities, and currencies. The Frax platform uses a combination of blockchain technology and algorithmic monetary policy to create, trade, and borrow synthetic assets. The platform utilizes a token called FXS, which is used to access the platform and to vote on proposals for its development. Users can borrow FXS on the platform which they can then use to purchase synthetic assets. The platform uses algorithmic monetary policy to ensure that the supply of FXS is stable and to prevent over-collateralization of loans. Users can also earn interest on their FXS by providing it as collateral for loans. The Frax platform is designed to be decentralized and trustless, meaning that it does not rely on any central authority or intermediary to function. This allows for a more transparent and fair system and reduces the risk of counterparty default. The Frax platform utilizes a number of different technologies to enable the creation, trading, and borrowing of synthetic assets. One key technology used by the Frax platform is the Price Oracle, which is a decentralized algorithm that is responsible for determining the value of synthetic assets. The Price Oracle uses a combination of market data, such as the prices of real-world assets, and a complex mathematical formula to calculate the value of the synthetic assets. This helps to ensure that the value of the synthetic assets is accurate and reflective of the real-world assets they are pegged to. Another technology used by the Frax platform is collateralization. In order to create a synthetic asset, users must provide collateral in the form of other cryptocurrencies. This collateral is held in a smart contract and is used to ensure that the synthetic assets maintain their value and that users can be liquidated if they are unable to repay their loans. The Frax platform also utilizes smart contracts, which are self-executing contracts with the terms of the agreement between buyer and seller being directly written into lines of code. Smart contracts are used to facilitate the trading, borrowing, and lending of synthetic assets on the platform. Additionally, the Frax platform uses a decentralized governance model, in which token holders can vote on proposals for the development of the platform. This allows the community to have a say in the direction of the project and helps ensure that it is aligned with the interests of its users. In summary, Frax platform uses a decentralized algorithm called Price Oracle to determine the value of synthetic assets, collateralization, smart contracts, and decentralized governance to facilitate the lending, borrowing, and trading of synthetic assets and to ensure the value of synthetic assets is accurate and reflective of real-world assets. Cryptocurrencies are highly volatile, 
so your cash can go down as well as up in the blink of an eye. As always, you should never invest in something you don't understand. What are your thoughts about the Frax share FXS? Would you use or invest in it? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful, please tab the subscribe button.